Hello, welcome. Uh, beautiful gray day today. Um, we've been needing a little rain and we've been getting some, so that's a good thing. Uh, evening prayer tonight, I'm getting ready to do that. But first, I always like to reflect a little bit on today's readings. Our first reading from the Book of Kings, uh, what a remarkable uh, story about Elisha and uh, the uh, gods of Baal uh, that the people were all following and uh, how he he challenged them. He says, well, you don't know which God to, uh, to believe in and to trust and to follow. And he said, well, and if you read the reading, it's a beautiful story. Uh, he said, you guys, you know, well, We'll, we'll set up sacrificial altars and we'll do everything, all the preparation, but we'll light no fire and we'll ask God to send fire and light the fire for the altar, for the offering. And of course he said, well, there's more of you than me and, and you go first, you go first. And so they set up everything and they did all of their uh, uh all of the theatrical and, uh, you know, all of their ceremonial uh, rites that they did and uh, on and on and on and, and all day long and uh, no fire, no fire. So then Elijah said, uh, he did all his uh, preparation work and he asked the Lord to, uh, to show them. And uh, by golly, he did. He sent down fire, and it consumed everything. And and uh, the people were uh, brought into uh, belief in Elisha's God, our God. And so, uh, what a what a remarkable uh, opportunity for them to have uh, God actually. Uh, show them i mean right in front of their eyes show them uh we in our lives you know we seldom get opportunities like that where god will light a fire in front of us and say look it's me okay uh now some of us have had miraculous things happen through prayer and and uh you know cures of our loved ones and maybe of ourselves and and we've had uh, subtle hints and reminders that, that our God is our true God, and we need to uh, worship and adore him and thank him for everything. But we seldom get uh, that kind of a, a profound uh, show of might and glory like these people did in Elisha's day. Uh, so, you know, we... We live by faith and not by sight. And so it's, you know, it's incumbent upon us to have that trust even without uh, all of this uh, uh, show of, of power by God. And uh, just we have to trust that he's still there for us and always doesn't change. He's always there uh, for his people, for us, the, uh, the crown of his creation. So we just have to trust in that, have faith in that, and live accordingly, uh, not chasing other uh, gods, if you will, you know, uh, might, power, wealth, all the other trappings of the world that could lead us away from, from our God. So anyway, that was the first reading, a beautiful story. Uh, our gospel today, uh, another familiar passage where Jesus said that he didn't come to abolish the laws, uh, but he came to fulfill the laws. And, you know, I, I read something about uh, uh, Catholicism in the old days and somebody who was sort of upset with uh, the faith and with the religion, and uh, he quipped... Uh, he said, in the beginning, in the beginning was the word, and the word was no. Uh, a little uh, 
uh, lashing out at uh, commandments and everything. But you see, you know, that when you look at the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament, yeah, thou shalt not, thou shalt not, you know, no, 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 don't do this, don't do that, right? But when Jesus came, you know, we heard it the other day, the Beatitudes, blessed or happy are those who do this and do that. It's all uh, accentuating the positive, what, we, what we're called to do, and not, we're, not what we're supposed to not do, but everything that we're called to do. And it brings uh, blessings, joy, happiness to our lives when we do that. And what is it that we're called to do? We're called to love and worship and honor our God with all of our strength, all of our soul, all of you know our, our being. And then the other thing that we're called to do is to you know, express that same love and devotion to one another. Love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, it's, so we're called to, to be uh, kind, thoughtful, and merciful, and good to one another. And so, uh, you know, there's no, uh, the only no in there is don't be hateful. Don't be racist, don't be uh, mean-spirited, don't loot, rob, uh, burn, don't, uh, you know, don't do evil. Just behave yourself. Do the right things with every day of your life. Say the right things, act the right way, do the right things. Then you'll be pleasing to this wonderful God and creator that we uh, worship so uh fervently in our lives and and we please him by taking care of one another so just a little thought today on our our readings and so we'll get right into our our evening prayer now and as always we begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold. My fortress, I stand firm. How long will you attack one man to break him down, as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy, to take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock my stronghold, my fortress, I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great man, great men, an illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you reward each one according to his works. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, seeking your grace and secure protection. We look to you for our stable hope in a constantly changing world. Eagerly await the 
we eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. May God turn his radiant face toward us and fill us with his blessings. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing to the ends of the earth, revere him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us, so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. May God turn his radiant face toward us and fill us with his blessings. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through him all things were made. He holds his creation together in himself. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. In your relations with one another, clothe yourselves with humility because God is stern with the arrogant, but to the humble he shows kindness. Bow humbly under God's mighty hand, so that in due time he may lift you high. Cast all your cares on him, because he cares for you. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Gather us under the shadow of your wings and keep us as the apple of your eye. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Lord, with the strength of your arm, scatter the proud and lift up the lowly. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. 
He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, with the strength of your arm, scatter the proud and lift up the lowly. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us rejoice in our God, for he takes great delight in bestowing benefits on his people. Let us fervently pray, increase your grace and your peace, Lord. Eternal God, for whom a thousand years are like a passing day, Help us to remember that life is like a flower which blossoms in the morning but withers in the evening. Increase your grace and your peace, Lord. Give your people manna to satisfy their hunger and living water to quench their thirst for all eternity. Increase your grace and your peace, Lord. Let your faithful ones seek and taste the things that are above, and let them direct their work and their leisure to your glory. Increase your grace and your peace, Lord. Grant us good weather, Lord, that we may reap the copious fruits of the earth. Increase your grace and your peace, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, holy is your name, and renowned your compassion, cherished by every generation. Hear our evening prayer, and let us sing your praise, and proclaim your greatness forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may the Lord bless each and every one of you, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good Lord willing, we'll do this again tomorrow. God bless all of you, and have a wonderful night.